In this video, I'm going to just tell you how to do SEO that will bulletproof your ranking from any future Google algorithm. Here is a chart that shows you what you need to do. Now, I made this chart available online, so you can go to this URL, bit.ly forward slash Igor Sashkin SEO. And this chart was based on extensive research from the top ranking websites in different industries. You can see the way I'm doing it here. So I went and I typed in the different URLs, which are ranking very high in Google, and I saw the patterns that they have with their linking strategy. And I put it all together into this nice and simple chart. And you can see I did take the leaders of SEO. So this particular one is getting $31,000 per day of free organic traffic. Now I'm not going to get into the details about why you should do it like this. I'm not going to give you the techniques. I'm just going to tell you what you need to do to your website at the end of the day. And you can either watch my YouTube SEO videos right here and do it yourself or you can hire a company to get your SEO results. And we have organic and we have AdWords that we can do for you. Now you can take this chart and you can download it locally on your computer by going to file and download or you can just use it on the web. You simply enter the amount of keywords that you want to rank for. So in this case, I'm going to put 10. And we're going to show you how many links you'll need, unique links. We're proposing how many blogs you do. So you either do guest posts or you create your own blogs with Blogspot. How many web directories you should do. And how many direct domain links you will have and how many direct keyword links you will have. And then we give you an actual chart of exactly how many links you should do. And if you follow this chart, I can guarantee you that you will rank very well. Now, if you look carefully, the way I'm showing you the pattern that your links should be done is very similar to how the really big companies have their links done. And it's a very natural way customers linking to these businesses. So they link to the domain name, they link with an image, they link with different variations of the domain name, they link with a word click here or just here or hey check this out this is a very natural way and this is exactly what Google is looking for if you try to manipulate your links in any way by doing SEO by doing direct linking and purposely stuffing keywords it used to work it does not work anymore so once you understand how many links you need the next thing you need to do is you need to get an hrefs account and then you want to scout every single competitor so you simply go to Google type in the words you wish to rank for those 10 words that you put in the chart and you see who the top five players are for those words then you go back to hrefs and you do the research one by one to see who their competitor link partners are so the way you do it is you press on this little plus sign and you see who is linking to them now you only want to pick those that have a minimum domain score of whatever I told you in the chart. So in this case, I'm saying you have to have a minimum domain score of one. In this case, it's domain score of five. In the keyword cases, it's domain score of 30. And this is very important that you follow this particular domain score. In this case, you want to take Mashable. Now, most likely, you're not going to be able to get your link in Mashable. Possibly, you'll be able to make a comment on articles that are relevant to whatever you're doing, and maybe Google will pick it up, and maybe you'll get value out of it. But chances are, most businesses will probably not get mentioned on Mashable. So you just want to kind of go one by one and see. In this case, we have freelance switch. And sometimes these are websites that allow you to post an ad or allow you to post a job posting. Like, you know, Flippa allows you to sell a business. Odesk allows you to post a job. And in reality, if you put your anchor links in those ad listings, they actually will give you the value, the minimum domain score that you need to achieve the results in this chart. Now, I'm making a list on this sheet here of free high hrefs domain sources that are universal for any industry and I'll be happy to share it with you if you decide to request a consulting session with us to see if we can work together and maybe we can help you achieve your SEO results but you can also compile your own list so like I said you simply go to hrefs and you go domain by domain making a list of websites that have a higher minimum hrefs score than what I told you in the chart write them all down then visit them and see if you can link to them and you would be linking to them using this specific anchor information. So your domain name, this would be an image that you would post. This would be a domain name with a .com at the end. This would be a domain name. So if you have two words, you would just combine those two words. You would have www in front, you know, HTTP. This one has a forward slash in here. So these would be your anchor links that you would actually link to all these different websites. Once you have completed this whole task, I can assure you that you will see the ranking 
Now, the final thing is that you also want to make sure that you have content, specifically unique content, on every keyword that you want to rank for. So if you want to rank for keyword one, make sure you have a really good article on your website for keyword one with friendly URLs, which is very important. That's all you need in order to rank in Google. Good luck, and if you need any help, the links are right here.